We've got a special FM20 challenge video today. Four games to save West Ham United from relegation. Can we do it? Let's go and find out. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And yep, four games we've got to try and save West Ham United in this special one-off challenge video. The challenge was created by Clates FM, a fellow FM YouTuber. I'm going to link his channel down below and as well I'm going to link his introduction to this challenge. He's doing a few daily challenges at the moment so go and check his channel out. He's a very good YouTuber. Go and subscribe to him. I really do recommend his stuff. And so, like you can see, we are 18th in the league, only a point behind Wolves. So you would think, not that much of a challenge perhaps. But Wolves have got two games in hand on us. So we really, really do need to start hitting the ground running immediately. And if we have a look at the team stats for the season thus far, you can see that it's not been that amazing. Sebastian Haller has got nine goals and is our top goal scorer. Little bit disappointing for the 40 odd million we paid for him, if I'm honest. But Loki Doki's best mate, Jared Bowen, has been our highest average rating with 7.16. He's also got the most assists. Pablo Fornals has got an 80% pass completion, which is actually quite decent. So those are the players, those, that was a weird way to say that, but those are the players that we are going to be focusing and trying to build the team around for the next few games. And as you can see, the four games we have got are Leicester first up, winnable, tough but winnable, Palace, winnable. Palace will be the one game I am definitely expecting us to win, but then... The last two games and what makes this so difficult, it's Chelsea and Arsenal. Two London derbies where we might have to win them both to try and keep us in the league and try and keep our job. And so, you know what? Let's go and have a look at the tactics and we'll go and have a look at the team for the first game against Leicester. Just before we do get into the team and the tactics for the first game today, just want to have a look at the training and I want to show you guys the one thing I've changed on the calendar and that is every week on Thursday, I'm going to be setting that aside as a teamwork and team bonding day. I find that when you're in a situation like this, if you can try and get your team cohesion up and your team happiness up, then that can really help in situations like this. So you can see here, every week for the month or so I'm here, I've got us every Thursday, teamwork, team bonding. Because at the moment, our cohesion is good, but we need it to get up to excellent, hopefully. So maybe might be able to do that. I know we've not got long, but it's what we've got to try to try and get ourselves out of this mess. And so before we do start the game as well, you can see that Wolves, who are above us, yes, this doesn't count as one of their gaming hands, but they're playing Manchester City. So City should hopefully be doing us a big, massive, massive favour in this first game. But of course, we need to go out and win it. And so how do I think we can win this game? Like this. We are going to go with a 4-3-2-1 narrow. Fabianski in goal, Cresswell on the left, Ryan Fredericks on the right, Diop and Balbuena in the middle of the defence. And then in the midfield, we've got a three of Declan Rice and Noble playing both box-to-box -box midfield roles. And Jack Wilshere as a deep-lying playmaker. And then up top, we've got Pablo Fornells as a Trek Artista, alongside Bowen as a Sado striker. And then, of course, it's Sebastian Haller up, up top. Felipe Anderson is out injured for the rest of the season, or two to three weeks, so pretty much the rest of the season. And I'm not quite sure where Lanzini is, uh, which is quite a shame. I'm guessing he's been sold. He normally gets sold on here. 
unless you take over. And yeah, he's gone back to Argentina. That's a little bit of a surprise. A little bit gutted at that. Those of you who know me will know how much I love Manuel Lanzini. So it's disappointing that he's gone. But that is the team for today's game. And as far as the tactics, we're going out of possession, standard defensive line, lower line of engagement, distribute to the playmaker from the keeper. And then when possession's been lost, we're trying to be very solid, just try and keep our shape. And then, also, of course, as well, we're going to be doing the same when we have won the ball back. And then in possession, we're whipping crosses into the box. We're focusing play through the middle with a higher tempo. And we're running at their defence. But we are trying to keep a bit more disciplined. So we're just trying to be solid. Make ourselves tough to beat for these next four games. So now let's get into this one against Leicester. And let's see how we're going to get on. Okay, so here we go. This is the Leicester team. They're also going quite defensive. Jamie Vardy all up top on his own. But look at that Leicester team. So many players there I like. Madison, I love, love, love Madison. I would have loved it if we'd have got him when he went from Norwich. But unfortunately, Leicester got him. Yuri Thielmans is class. Chilwell I like. And I love Kasper Michael as a keeper. And so let's just hope we can get a result from this. As we're getting all the stupid tutorials because it's a new manager that Clates has set up in this save. And so let's go ask the assistant. And now let's go passionate. Let's go and cause an upset. No real reaction there. Uh, give me a solid defensive effort. And get us control of the midfield. And I want you to go out there and grab us some goals. Most of the players are motivated. No idea what to bloody well predict. 2-1 uh, us. I will take a 2-1 win. Come on, you irons. First highlight of the game, and it's Leicester with it. All Brighton picking the ball up off Casper to Michael. And they've gone long, and Fredericks is giving it away to Vardy. And Jamie Vardy early on. Oh, what has Fredericks done there? That was an absolute howler of a mistake. What was Fredericks trying to do here? He had quite a lot of time. Yeah, he could have just taken a touch, but the touch he did take was dreadful. And we all know Jamie Vardy, he ain't going to miss a chance like that, is he? Ten minutes on the clock. Can we get an equaliser quick? Jack Wilson out wide to Cresswell. And Cresswell does not get past Perez, but he gets the ball back. Jack Wilson two four nows. And Fornells loses the ball out there. And Vardy's in again. We're playing a deeper defensive line. How is this happening? Oh. Well. That ain't the start I was anticipating two minutes ago. What has happened here? What Fornells was doing there again. He just let Tillmans take the ball off him. And Vardy is on for a hat-trick here after just 10 minutes. OK, after that mad start, we've had to make a couple of changes to the tactic. We're going with a lower defensive line and a higher line of engagement. And we're pinging the ball more directly. And let's just see what that can do for us. 35 minutes in now. It's Bowen with the corner ball. He whips it in, and oh, I thought that was going to be something decent, but no. Jared Bowen back with it now. He's into the box. He's gone for the shot. He's tried to do it himself, and he almost has. But we've got another corner ball, which Jared Bowen is going to take. If we can get one before half time, we might have half a chance. You never know. It's got headed away. Diop now is going to collect it. And now, can he get it, mate? No, he can't. Five minutes to half time. No ball. Out wide to Fredericks. Fredericks with the ball. Oh, come on, can he get the ball into the box? Nope, he's had it tackled off him, but he does get it back. Fredericks gets the ball into the box. And we're back in it. No, we're not. No, we're not. Sebastian Haller, that close to getting us back into the game. And that is the half time whistle. Other than that mad first 11 minutes, I think we've been okay. Not spectacular, but...
but we've not been 2-0 bad since that first 10 minutes, like I say. So let's go back to the dressing room. Uh, make up for that performance in the second half. No one's really reacted there. There's a, And now we're going for the usual. There's a lot more you've got. Nobody believes it. Wow. Oh, this is going to be difficult. What do I do? Do I leave it as things are? Yeah, leave it as things are. Wait till the hour mark and then see what we can do from there. Oh, God. 30 seconds into the second half. This might not be a good start. As I'm guessing that's Madison to take it. No, all Brighton it is. And now he crosses it in. And oh, it's pinging about. It's gone to Madison and oh. Okay. This is going to be difficult. Thank God. Thank God Man City are beating Wolves. As indeed they was last time I looked. And Madison there with a nice goal. And yeah, Man City two up at Wolves. So we're still going to be in the same position, just with less games to try and make up the points. As now James Justin with the ball, crosses it in for Leicester. Oh, what on earth has Noble done there? He's just given it straight to Albrighton and Madison's long shot has been blocked. And now, come on, Madison out wide to Chilwell. Chilwell now, he's into the box. Can we get this back, please? No, we can't. Oh, my gosh. Four nil and only fifty minutes gone. This could be a well. I say could be. It is a slaughter. This is terrible. Chilwell with the cross there. Ricardo Pereira with the header. Well, if we carry on like this, we're not getting any points out of this challenge. Oh my days! Leicester are forward again. Tillman's with it. His cross is blocked. And Noble gets the ball away, goes to Haller. He needs a teammate with him to help him out. He, although, does he? He's come forward himself. He's into the box. He takes the shot on and he's missing the net. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal from Sebastian Haller. We're going to win 5-4, boys. And Haller's going to score all of them. What a goal that was. Who's the man he turned there? Was that Morgan? It was. He's turned Morgan there and nobody else has got close to him. And oh, yes, come on, my man. An hour on the clock now. Leicester again coming forward. Madison to Albrighton to Chilwell. And Chilwell loses the ball there. Bowen with it. Can he get it forward to Haller? He might not need it. He might do this one himself. No, he's played it to Haller. To Wilson, to Rice. And Rice is in the box and he's gone for the shot. And we're playing some nice football now. But unfortunately, we did it when we started at 4-0 down. OK, two changes being made now. Mikel Antonio coming on for Jared Bowen. And four nows being replaced by Andrew Yarmolenko. And we're going a bit wider. Try and just do something to get at least another couple of goals to get some confidence back into these boys. Oh, and we've given away a penalty. While I've been making those changes, we've given away a penalty. Oh, and Vardy to take it, and Vardy's got his hat-trick. Vardy has got his hat-trick. 5-1. Not the way I wanted to start this at all. Four minutes left of normal time. Fredericks goes forward to Antonio. Antonio starts running at their defence. He's gone past a couple men here. Goes for the long shot and, well, just passed it back to Sir Michael, didn't he? Wow. Thank God that game is over. Vardy with a hat-trick. Madison with one and Pereira with the other one. I think it's fair to say that tactic I jumped up did not work. And so I'm going to go, I'm going to go calmly. I'm going to go just one of those days. Try and get the morale up. Try and get the confidence up. And so, let's have a look at the league table. See if we've moved down anywhere or anything. And then I'll be back for the next league game. The league table still looks pretty much the same. As if I bring it up big so I get out of the way. 
you can see obviously we're still just a point behind Wolves doesn't look like we're going to be falling behind Watford or Villa but they are still to play this weekend so I'll be back with you before the next game against Crystal Palace massive game see you in a second Here's the team for today's game. We've got Randolph in goal, Masuaku and Fredericks as the wing-backs, Diop and Rice in centre of defence, Wilshire and Noble in the middle of the park, and then it's Bowen on the left, Four nows as an attacking midfielder, and Yarmolenko on the right-hand side. I looked at the scout report before this game against Palace, and they've apparently not done very well against 4 2 3 ones. So that's why we're going with this formation for today. We're going with a positive mentality, sort of passing, work ball into the box. And we're going with a standard defensive line. Might drop that down, actually. You know what? Let's drop that down and let's see how that does for at least the first half of the game. Wolves, by the way, do still have two games in hand. They haven't played any more games since the last week. So that's a little bit disappointing. The only team in and around us we need to be worrying about is Watford. They're, in, they're playing against Manchester City. So again, we're hoping Man City can get a win and create a bit of a gap between us and Watford. Here is the Crystal Palace team that we're going to be lining up against. They've gone with, what, a 4-1-2-3? And so they've got Zaha on the left, Townsend on the right. They're the only two players I'm worried about. Hopefully we can get at this team, get a nice good start and build from there. That is what I'm hoping for. And so let's go ask the assistant. He's set instructions for five of their players. Uh, do, do, do. We're the favourites, are we? Okay. Well, let's say that. And let's go, I have faith. I have faith. And wow, nobody has any confidence in this team. Oh, my days. 1-0 win. 1-0 win is what I'm going to predict. Come on. 26 minutes into the game, we've got the first highlight. Mayer with the corner for Palace. It goes in and all oh, they've had a header, but it's gone over the bar. Oh, oh, oh. Fredericks now with a throw in. Four nows to Wilshire. Wilshire coming forward into the middle of the park. And what can he do? He goes back to four nows. And four nows, is he going to have a run at the defence? He's not. He's going to pass it through to Haller, who's going to take a shot on his E. And there he is, but it's only hit the side netting. And that's your lot for the first half. Not a whole lot of exciting football going on there. And this makes for a big, big 45 minutes. This is a game we really need to win. And so, as we have a look at the half-time stats, four shots apiece. We've had the only one on target, but they have had a lot more of the ball than us. And so, let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, we can win this. And it's still nobody believing. Midfield, come on, passionate. Attack, passionate. No reaction. Oh, my days. Okay. And so, now what? Do we go attacking or do we just go a bit more direct passing? Now what? Let's just go standard passing. Whip, whip the crosses in. Play the ball into space. And I think, go a bit more expressive. Why not? And maybe go, do we go for a higher line or do we, or higher line of engagement? Or do we go for a stand, go for a standard defensive line. Go standard defensive width. And then just see what that does for the next 20 minutes. An hour on the clock. Palace with a throw in. Riderworld, I think that's how you say his name. He's played it to his teammate who crosses it in. And why is Randolph in goal? I chose Fabianski. Okay. My assistant manager is changing keepers. But he <laughs> against me here. So, yeah, Randolph in goal. No idea how that's happened. But now that highlight is still carrying on as the ball goes back and forth. And Darren Randolph goes out wide to Fredericks. He goes long. And come on, come on, let's get the ball forward. Yarmolenko. He's cutting inside here. Goes out wide to Jared Bowen. 
And can Bowen get this ball in the box? He does. And we're ahead. Pablo Fornals. Yes, yes, yes. Pablo Fornals with only his fourth of the season. Makes it 1-0 to the Hammers. And, oh, as things stand, with Wolves not playing until tomorrow, we are out of the relegation zone. And that was a very nice cross from Bowen and a beautiful header from Fornals. But now, a minute later, Palace with a goal kick. Cahill goes out wide to Ward. And now, what's Ward going to do? He plays it back to his defender, Mohamedou Sako. He goes out wide. To Wilfred Saha, we need to get the ball off him. He's their one player that can hurt us. And now Sako out wide. Redereld to Zaha. Zaha coming forward. Plays it out wide to Townsend. And Townsend's in the box. We need to get this ball back. No! I thought Tosson was going to get them the equaliser there. Just over 20 minutes left to go. Mikel Antonio's come on on the right-hand side. And Sebastian Haller has done nothing today. So he's come off for Albion Jetty. Come on, let's hold on to this. About another 10 minutes and then I think I'm going to drop Bowen and Antonio down into the midfield. Right after those subs have been made. Four nows back to Fredericks on the right hand side touchline. Goes to Antonio. Antonio's running at the defence. He's in the box. He's in space. He's gone for the shot. And that was dreadful. Just over 10 minutes left to go. Jack Wilson is now looking a little bit tired. So we're going to bring on Thomas Susek in place of him. Maybe change him and Noble about. Yep. And you know what? Oh. Yeah, we're going to try and hold on to this. We're going to try and hold on. So we're dropping Bowen and Antonio down. Just about 10 minutes left now. Mayer to Ward for Palace. Goes to Mihalovic. No idea how to pronounce that name. Sacco. Come on, get this ball back. I'm getting nervous now. Or maybe I shouldn't. Four nows has won it back. Four nows on the counter. Square it. Please square it to a jetty. Please. Oh, he's tried to. And oh, a little bit earlier and it would be 2-0 right now. But now Palace on the counter. Ward with the ball. This is a non-stop highlight here. Sacco coming forward. Goes out wide to Riederweld. Forward to Zaha. And come on, get the ball back off him. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. I am getting nervous. Zaha's got space and he's hit it. And it's hit the post and gone out. Oh, oh I thought the game was just going to peter out. But Palace have got one last chance. Mayer with it. He's in the box. His cross has been blocked. Diop's headed, headed another cross away. And now Fornals on the counter. What can he do with it? He's played it through. I think a jetty was on. He's going to take the son. And oh, he's in the back of the net. But is it counting? Is it counting? No, it's not. Oh. Oh, how offside was he? I don't know. Masuaku it was with the pass. I oh, know this, is, this isn't the same highlight. They're not even going to show us it. I don't think he was offside. I don't think he was off. But thankfully, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Although Palace do have one last chance here. Townsend with it. Into Maya. Wide toward. Oh, if they equalise now, I am going to lose my sight. Thankfully, they haven't. And I think that's going to be the end of the game, is it? No. This game just refuses to end. Masuaku plays it long. Come on, referee. A jetty now with it. Back to Noble. And Noble's lost it. And thankfully, the referee finds his whistle. And that is a massive three points. Four nows with the goal to win it for us. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Very nice victory. Everybody's happy. Everybody's delighted. And so, guys, I'll be back with you for the next game in a second against Arsenal, I think it is. The relegation fight has taken on another twist because Wolves have beaten Aston Villa in their last game. And so they've moved above Southampton, who we're level on games with. And 
Importantly, if we have a look at their next two games, it's Manchester City and Leicester. Two tough games for them. So it could come down to absolutely anything as to who's going to stay up. Our next game is against Chelsea, not Arsenal. I got that wrong just now. And so let's go and have a look at the team for this one. We're sticking with the 4 2 3 1. Fabianski's back in goal. Randolph didn't do too much wrong, but he's just got a bit of a knock, so he can't really play for this game. Masuaku is in at left back. Diop and Ogbonna are our centre back pairing today. Fredericks is on the right hand side. Rice moves up to the middle of the midfield because Wilshere has got an injury. He's out for the next week or so. Noble is alongside him. And then up top, it's the same as the last game. Bowen, Fornals, Yarmolenko, Halla. Chelsea, again, have been weak against a 4-2-3-1. So that's why we're sticking with this. And now let's go and get into this one. Come on, yet another big game. And for helpfully, Southampton are playing Man City at the same time we're playing. So that does help us out so we'll know what we have to do at all times. Rolos, just realised I've had this paused. Not sure what the last bit you've seen is. I'll find out when I edit. But you see, we're 1-0 down. We've just gone a goal down. I'll show you the goal. Where is it? There it is. And it was a very, very simple one there. Tamori's never going to get an easier chance than that. And so, we need to get one back before half-time. That would be very nice. Wow, that's all the action from the first half. Chelsea, as you can see by the stats, have absolutely dominated us. 13 shots to 2, 7 on target, 2 are none. So maybe trying to go 4 2 3 1 wasn't the best idea. I don't know. I think I think we go higher defensive line. You know what? Because as the league table stands, I'll show you in a minute. I think Southampton played before us and they lost. So we're going to go higher defensive line. So even if we do lose, this will go to the last day of the season. So higher defensive line, higher line of engagement. Uh, we're going to really try and press them. And we're going to go and counter at them at all times. Distribute the ball out wide. Go for longer passing. And we're going to play wider. And hit early crosses. And we're going to go attacking. And I think we're going to leave the team as it is for the minute. Although, actually, you know what? Antonio's going to come on for Yarmolenko. So let's go winger. Let's go attack. And leave everything else as is. Come on, you irons. Actually, oh, no, before we do that. Uh, oh, I think I've just upset the boys there. Come on, here we go. Now you're starting to listen to me. God, I have faith, faith, faith. Mm, not many of them do. All right, let's get into the second half. Here we are, two minutes into the second half. Diop plays the ball long. Haller tries to get to it, but doesn't. But Rice does get it for us. Noble to Diop. He plays it out wide. Bowen nods it down. Fornals is in space. He's into the box. He's gone for the shot, and it's gone wide. But that looked good. Now, non-stop highlights. Can A with the ball. Wide to the goal scorer, Tamori. Back to Kovacic. Come on, let's press him. Let's get this ball back. Into Can A. Into Pulisic now for Chelsea. Come on, come on. Let's get him angry. Let's get him to kick us and get him sent off. And I think that's what's happened. Oh, my days. Pulisic is gone. Come on, referee. Off, 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 off. And he is. Come on. We've got a chance here, boys. Oh, the highlights are just non-stop now. We've taken a free kick quick. But Chelsea, get it away. Willian now coming forward. We need to get this back. Oh, don't let them score just after they've gone down to 10 men. Willian to Kovacic. Come on, let's get this back. Can A out wide to Willian, who just about keeps it in and does get it to his teammate, Azpilqueta. Masuaku heads away. 
Kane with it. And again, wide. Azpil Kueta. Back to Kovacic. This is a long, long highlight. Making me nervous here. Kovacic has got himself some space and it's 2-0. Just as I was thinking we might have a chance to get back into this. Mm -hmm. No. Azpil Kueta it was with it. And Kovacic got past a man here. You'll see it. Who's the one he got past who tried to tackle him? No idea. Pressed the wrong button. 30 minutes left. Rudiger with the ball. Plays it to the goal scorer, Kovacic. To Ruben. And now Willian again in space. Come on, we need to get this off him. No ball. No, win it back. Nope. Willian goes inside. He's going all the way to the other side of the pitch here. Goes to Mount. Now, can we get it back off him? No. Oh, no, we can't. No ball's off. No ball is off and we're down to 10 men each. Oh, what's going on with the league table? How is it looking? Indeed it is. As things stand, we are going to be going to the last day. Needing a win against Arsenal. You know what? We've got a sod all to lose here. Let's go Rice down in a defensive midfield role. And get four nows off. Come on. Halla, go over there. Yep. And then a jetty 4-4 nows. Play a bit more. Play much, much narrower now. And then just go extremely direct. Suit on sight. And then uh, in transition, hoof it long over their defence. And let's just see what we can do from there. 20 minutes left on the clock. Fredericks to Ogbonna. Deep in our own half. Fredericks now with it. He goes long and Haller has it. And oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you, I'm, I made a sub. We've made a sub here. A jetty has come on. He's now alongside Haller. So hopefully we can get a result. Come on. And now Bowen with the ball for us. Antonio's in space. Is that one going to count? No, it's not. Ah. Oh. That would have been a lifeline. Just about five minutes left. Chelsea coming forward again. James to Kante. Into hudson Adoy, And Bowen's off. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to be missing Bowen for the last game. Oh, no. We've had two players sent off. And this high-pressing malarkey has not worked. It's been an absolute disaster. You know what? Leave the tactic like that. Who cares at this point? Well, now just about five minutes on the clock. A jetty with the ball for us. Rice goes out wide. Antonio nods it in. Kovacic goes away. Kante is in oceans of space. And this will probably be a third for Chelsea. Adoy is in. And all oh, Fabianski with a decent save there. And it's going to be a doy with the corner ball. Crossing it in and oh, almost free there. But we have got the ball away for the second. Rudiger with the ball out wide to a doy who just about keeps it in. And now he's running at our defence. Goes back to James. And James coming forward. He's got loads of space. Kante is going to take a long shot on but that gets blocked. James back to Kante. Into Juru, Kane again. Kovacic, who did score Chelsea's second of the day. Abraham to Kovacic. Out wide, Azpil Kureta. What's he going to do with it? He's offside. No, he's not. He's kept it in. And Kane with it and 3 0. Oh well. Oh well. It's all going to come down to the last game against Arsenal. Jesus, this game refuses to end. Abraham with the ball. Fredericks gets it off him there, off the missed time pass. And now Rice coming forward. Goes back to Diop. And Diop out wide? Nope, he goes inside to Rice. He goes long. Haller nods it on. A jetty with the first time shot. And that goes wide. Not that that would have changed a great deal. 30 seconds left on the clock. Antonio into Rice. And now the ball's gone away again. 
and Kante, he can play this into a doy if he wants. He's chosen not to, and Masuaku's done something stupid there, but got away with it. And all that's a... Whoa, my days, my heart is going. What a calamity of errors that was there. And now it's James to Kante. Kante out wide. Is he going to get the ball into the box? No, he doesn't. Rice intercepts and hoofs it out. And now, come on, referee. Please let that be that. And finally, there's the final whistle. 3-0 defeat. We've been absolutely annihilated. But I'm going to say to the boys, unlucky. And most of them are relaxed. And so, that means, last game of the season, we need to be Arsenal. Be back with you for that in a second. Here we go, guys. This is the team that I've picked to try and keep us in the Premier League. We've got Randolph in goal, Cresswell at left back, Zabaleta comes in at right back. I think we need his experience today. Diop and Ogbonna are our centre backs. And then in the midfield, we've gone for a flat three. Rice as a deep line playmaker. Fornals as a roaming playmaker. And Susek as a ball winning midfielder. Which actually, now I look at that, I'm going to change Rice back to a box to box. Or actually a ball winning midfielder. So we've got two ball winning midfielders. Rice and Susek. Fornals as the roaming playmaker. And then up top, Anderson is finally fit. I think he'll get through this game. He needs a Tevez against United style performance for us. West Ham fans will know all about that game. Yarmolenko on the right hand side. And then Halla is a target man on support. Big, big 90 minutes coming up. And let's have a look. Who is it Southampton have got again? I've completely forgotten. They have got less... Nope. Is it Leicester they've got? Yes, it is. Leicester they've got. Come on, Leicester. Do us a favour. Here's the Arsenal team for the game. They're going with a 4-2-3-1. They've got Leno in goal. Maitland, Niles and Zaka in the middle. Aubameyang, Ozil and Saka behind Lacazette. So nervous. So, so nervous. Let's go dressing room. Let's go ask assistant. And I'm going to go passionate. Uh, uh, uh. Media, media have been on your back. Not re any real reaction. And then I have faith. Uh, let's go assertive. Let's say it assertively. See what that does. And not a great deal. Alright then. Here we go boys. Here we go. Come on you irons. All oh, early days. Leicester are leading against Southampton. As this first highlight starts, can we get the ball back? They, oh, I don't think we're going to Lacazette and now we're behind. Oh, no, no, no. Just as we had that glimmer of hope, Arsenal have snatched it away immediately. And this was all a bit of a ping pong about. Niles had the ball, got it to Aubameyang, back to Niles. He tried to cross it in, it got blocked, but eventually got crossed in and Lacazette with the goal there. Almost 20 minutes gone now. Arsenal with the ball again. Ozil plays it forward and our man Diop gets to it first. And now can he find a teammate? Yes, he does. Goes to Randolph in goal, who goes out wide. Zabaleta plays it to Yarmolenko. And he plays it inside to Susek. Back to Ogbonna. Plays it to Zabaleta. We're keeping the ball nicely enough here. But Zabaleta's panicked. And oh, what has Zabaleta done? What the fuck is that? What the absolute bollocks was that? Zabaleta, the man I've put in because I thought he'd be experienced. And he has panicked under pressure. He could have played it forward. He could have played it to my man. Who's that there? Yarmolenko. He might have even been able to get it back to Susek. Why has he done that in his last game in, in English football? He's gone out with an absolute clusterfuck of a mistake. Well, 25 minutes gone. 
Uh, we've made a change. A jetty coming on for Pablo Fornals. We're going back to a 4-4-2. We're going attacking. We've got no choice. But we're down as things stand. Half an hour on the clock. Ozil to Saka. Back to Bellerin who's in way too much space there. Nobody wants to mark him, do they? And oh, Lacazette with the shot. But thankfully, I think Fabianski saved it. And it's gone out. Not Fabianski, Randolph saved it. And it went out for a corner. Which is going to be taken by Saka here. And can we get this away? You Just about. But it's going to be Saka to go and play it. But that ends that highlight. Just about seven minutes till half time and they've had a free kick and Aubameyang's header goes over the bar. A minute left in the first half and we've got the ball. Goes out wide to Anderson. He plays it long. Ejeti flicks it on. Haller. Haller's in space. He's gone for the shot but it's been blocked and gone out for a corner ball. Can we maybe, maybe get one back? Give us a glimmer of hope. Cresswell with the corner. That gets headed away. Diop now with it. What can he do? He's tried to... Why has he tried to cross it there? Does he not know there's a man there? And well, that's half time. Four shots we've had to their ten. They have absolutely bossed this game. I really don't know what to do to try and sort this situation out. I'm thinking 4-3-3. Three, three. That's what I'm thinking now. I think maybe put a jetty as the poacher. Leave Anderson there for the time being. And then have we got any other central midfielders? Uh, we got Diaz. Mm, not really the one I want, but it's all we've got right now. And no, no, you are not playing there, my man. Uh, leave Yarmolenko there. Maybe swap him for Rice. Christ, what am I doing? I don't know. Leave it at that. Leave it at that for the time being. Maybe chuck Antonio on in place of Anderson. In a minute, I don't know. We shall see. A minute into the second half and we've got a chance. Ogbonna with the header and that's gone out. Yep, now just making that change with half an hour left to go. Antonio coming on coming on in place of Anderson and going out on the right and no other changes I can think to make might just push Cresswell and Zabaleta up as wing backs and so you know what put Masuaku not Masuaku Frederick sorry put him on in place of Zabaleta and leave it at that actually no Susek we're gonna put Susek and Yarmolenko on attack and yep, there we go. That's the last change we can make. Come on, West Ham. 20 minutes left. Arsenal with a goal kick. Mary with the ball. Goes out wide to Kalasinak. But Susek intercepts there. And Susek gets it to Antonio. He's in the box. Goes for the shot. And what was that? Now just over 10 minutes left. Kalasinak with a throw in. Ozil to Martinelli. To Kalasinak. And now Ozil, with the ball out on the left, crosses it in. Goes to Bellerin all the way on the other side of the pitch. And he's into the box. He could put the final nail into our coffin here. Oh, I hope some of you others that are doing this challenge are doing better than me. Because this has been dreadful. Oh my gosh. Might just have another go at this offline tonight. I don't know. Because that has been wo woeful. 3-0 down. We have gone down with an absolute whimper. 10 minutes left now. What are Arsenal going to do to us now? Bellerin with the ball coming forward. And oh, Yarmolenko wins it back. And tries to get inside but loses it. But the ball rolls to Susek. Can he play it out wide? He does. Cresswell with a first time cross. Doesn't get to anyone eventually. But Antonio. Ah. Oh, come on. Let's get this ball back. 
you never know. One chance, you might have a miracle on your hands. But it's not going to happen, is it, boys? And girls. And those of you who don't, don't want to be misgendered by being called boys or girls or anything like that. Whoever's watching this, you know it's not going to happen now. And oh my days. Oh. Wasn't even bopping hot comment, commentating on that because I didn't think that was going to be a highlight. But you'll see it on the replay. Just how simple this goal was. Leno with just a simple old school Wimbledon long ball over the top. And Susek there just... Don't know. He's thinking about his summer holidays, isn't he? He's thinking about where he's going to go. And, well, where he's going to go is out of this football club if I carry this save on. And now are my days. Please not yet another one. Diop to Cresswell. Into Haller. Haller, come on. Into Rice. Out wide to Cresswell. Can we at least get one last goal as a Premier League team? Haller squares it, a jetty suits and it hits a man and goes out for a corner. Come on. Cresswell with a corner. That goes to absolutely nobody. But eventually Ogbonna is putting Kalasinac under pressure. And we get another corner ball. And now Cresswell with it. Gwen Doozy heads away. And now come on, referee, just blow your whistle. Confirm what we all know right now. Come on, referee. Yarmolenko gets the ball back there off Ozil. Goes to Antonio. And that's one for your quiz books. Who scored West Ham's last goal in, in the Premier League? Your answer, Mikel Antonio. And Yarmolenko there coming forward. Played it through to Antonio. Nice goal there, but... Way too little, too late for us there. And there it is. There's the full-time whistle. And actually, by the stats, we've not been that bad. I think 4-1 is a little bit harsh. 20 shots to their 19. 12 on target to our 6. And they've only had a little bit more of the ball. And Lacazette, oh, I didn't notice that. Lacazette got all four of their goals. Wow. All right, let's go team talk. Let's go. Uh, I've got nothing to mention because I'm probably not going to be seeing you boys again, am I? So let's just have a look at the final league table. Let's see what FM predicts is going to happen. And there it is, but I'll get it up on the big. We have been relegated. We have failed. What, 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 what? But at the other end of the table... Liverpool have won the league by six points. Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal also qualifying for the Champions League. Sheffield United getting 11th. And Watford and Villa joining us in going down. And so guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. A bit of a longer video than normal, but it's a little bit different. It's a one-off. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have... Pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content and Pro Evo content at some point. And if follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out all the Passion for FM lads. All the details are down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter and Facebook. And that is all for today. I shall see you Monday for the return of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save. Sayonara. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.